This earthquake also serves as a reminder that there are fault lines running under Las Vegas, and Nevada is one of the most seismically active states. 13 Action News anchor Marissa Kinnison now explains they're just waiting to snap and release energy as plates of earth rub together. Well, did you feel it? The earthquake happened about 200 miles away, but we're hearing reports of people feeling it even right here in the valley, all the way from the strip to Nellis Air Force Base. The Tonopah earthquake has many people wondering if we could see something similar here in the valley. We do have several fault lines, some of the biggest ones near Cashman Field and along Decatur. I was able to talk with the curator of the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. They actually track seismic activity in the Las Vegas area. He says the Tonopah earthquake most likely did not impact our lines. He says it's more of a regional impact. But he also says it's not a matter of if Las Vegas will have its own large earthquake, but when. It's just a matter of time because we can't predict when these things can occur. But because those faults are there, we know that at some point in the future, it could be today, tomorrow, or it could be 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, there will be an earthquake probably of the same magnitude like Tonopah saw this morning. He did say there is a very small percentage that we could feel one of these aftershocks right here in the Vegas Valley. Marissa Kinniston, 13 Action News.